All right, everybody, I hope everyone is doing well today. I am going to show you in five minutes how to connect your MetaMask to Testnet V3, and I'm going to show you how to put your PulseX, import your PulseX coins, the V3 PulseX, not the V2B PulseX, because they have different contract addresses. I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing is, you know, right here, you're going to go to this address right here, and I'm going to put all of these things in the description, so don't worry about that. That's the first thing. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to go to APIs. So, we press RPC here. You go all the way down. <clears throat> you press Add Testnet V3. Testnet V3 network name, network URL, testnet pulsechain.com, chain ID 942, currency symbol TPLS. Approve, switch network. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to see testnet V3. Now how do you add PulseX? Now remember, you have to be under the V3, not V2B, because PulseX is going to have a different contract address. So how are you going to do it? You're going to go to Tokens. You're going to go to All. You're going to go down here. You're going to press PulseX. You're going to just copy the contract in. And copy this here. We're going to press this here. And we're going to go, because I already did this, but we are going to go to, so we're going to hide this, and I'm just going to do it again. We're going to press Import Tokens. And we're going to match it up. So obviously the token symbol is Pulse X. The token decimal is 18. Press Add Custom Token. Import Tokens. Bam. Done. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's how you connect to the Testnet Pulse Chain V3. That's how you get to the Testnet Pulse Chain V3. This is how you get to the contract and to add your Pulse X. And that's it. It's that simple. It's that simple. So I'm going to upload this now for you guys.